I know for a fact that I'm not going to be the only one that runs into this problem with the 40 series graphics cards. For those of you that are unaware, you actually need the newer display ports. You actually need the newer HDMI cords. So I thought that there was an issue with my RTX 4090 because the only cable that was functioning properly was the one that was going to my 5120 by 1440 monitor that was actually getting the refresh rate that it was supposed to. And then my other monitor for the top, as well as my TV, were only like 1080p, 30 frames per second. But they're also both, my, my top monitor is 1440p, 240 hertz, and then my TV is 4K, 120 hertz. So the reason that I am saying this is because Previous computers that I have had with, let's say, an RTX 3090, because that was the computer that I had before I upgraded to the 4090 and the 13900, that, that was, everything was running the way it was supposed to. And I thought that there was some sort of a bug with an NVIDIA driver. And then I thought it was some sort of a Windows update. And then I figured, hey, I might as well swap my, my main monitor's cable into one of the other ports. And it worked. So then I thought it was some sort of a power thing. So I tried checking my power supply extensions and, and removing those and everything was fine. And then I finally ended up just deciding to get a different display port cable. One that I saw on Amazon that says 8K 60 Hertz, 4K 144 Hertz, 1080p 240 Hertz. So I got this, plugged it into my top monitor and boom, everything fine. 1440p 240 hertz the way it was supposed to be and then my bottom monitor the the samsung odyssey is the one that i have everything was fine and then i ended up getting an hdmi cable from amazon and boom my tv all of a sudden went from 1080p to 4k so the reason that i am saying this is because if you're running into problems thinking that and again i know that i'm not the only one that's going to run into this issue if you are a person that is thinking that your graphics card has some sort of an issue, if it's some sort of an NVIDIA driver, if it's a port on your TV, if it's a broken port on your monitor, etc. That is not what is happening. It is because you don't have a new display port. You don't have a new HDMI cord. So I just, I, I really hope that this helps those of you that may, might be running into this problem because I know that I'm not the only one that is going to have that issue.